The Timed Hunt, produced, filmed, and edited by Tyler Bates. Visit our other YouTube channel, Master TNA TV. No animals will or have been killed. This is just a how-to slash product review, so viewer discretion may not be advised. Thank you, and please subscribe. First thing you want to do is go ahead and get the leather wet with a sponge. After that, let it sit for 5 or 10 minutes. Go ahead and get out your pattern and trace it out. I'm using a styling pin to trace it out. At this time, also transfer all your holes. I'm also using a piece of bamboo for the really tight holes. Repeat that process on the strap. Once you get done with that, go ahead and take out your swivel knife and go ahead and start cutting it out. Leave good deep impressions to make it easier to cut it out and it'll also give it a nice beveled edge on the side. Then go ahead and take your scissors and cut it out. I'm using a pretty thin leather right now. I'm only using 3 to 5 ounce leather. After that, go ahead and punch your holes in. I'm also using a single prong diamond hole punch. I'm now using a wheel ledger and it will really smooth out the edges. We're done with this piece, go ahead and set it aside. Now we're going to get ready for some other tooling. Go ahead and take a piece of tape and put it on the back side of your leather. Then go ahead and take a razor and cut off the remaining pieces of tape. I'm now going to put a border on. I'm using my swivel knife and my border tool. After that, take a piece of tape and put it on the back side of the leather again and it'll help it from sliding around. I am now using a beveling tool. After that, we go on the inside of our border, and I use the background tool. This is probably the most tedious part of the whole project. Alright, go ahead and take the tape off the back of the piece of leather now. This is a Chicago style screw. You can get them at any hardware store. So we're going to go ahead and sew it together so we can mold it. Next, go ahead and take the thread and put it onto your pointer finger and scrape off just a little bit of wax. It'll make it easier to thread. Well, my needle was full of wax, so I took a lighter and I melted out the rest of it.
Then it threaded with no problem. Don't forget to put a couple knots on the end of the thread. It's doing a really rough sewing right now. I just need it to hold together so we can mold it. After that, go ahead and take the sponge and get your leather damp again. I then take a piece of cellophane wrap and I wrap my knife in it so the moisture will not get to the knife. Close your knife halfway, just like this, and then go ahead and insert it into the case. Take your fingers and start pressing around the knife. I'm doing it very loosely because I know GSR Go Ped Rider 247 does not have the same knife as me. I'm doing this so it should fit any knife. This is how it will look when it's done. Now let it sit overnight and dry. Go ahead and disassemble it the next day. I'm using a black dye and a sponge brush. I normally put two coats of black on to get it good and dark. After you get done applying the dye, let it sit overnight and dry. I'm using a leather finish and a foam brush. Next day, I apply a leather finish called Super Sheen. If you're wondering what those other cases are, they're hatchet cases. You can watch that video also. Once again, go ahead and let it sit overnight once you're done. Don't worry, it will dry clear. Alright, now we're ready for final assembly. I'm using 8th inch gold rivets. For the strap, I'm using gold snaps. This is a Chicago style screw with a nylon washer. This is the most important thing to the whole project. After the snaps and rivets, we're going to go ahead and hand sew it together. I'm using a wax thread and double stitching it. How do you guys like them hatchet cases? You guys can watch that video also. After you get done sewing it together, the project will be complete. Make sure to keep watching the rest of the video because I'm going to show you how to use it here in just a second. You see that nylon washer? That's where the knife blade will ride. For that, simply slide it onto your belt and attach the strap to your belt loop. Then you're ready to go ahead and insert your knife and be safe. Now one thing to remember, it's kind of like a baseball glove since it's made out of leather. The more you use it, the better it will be because it will actually start to mold to, to that particular knife. I tested it out with three different knives and it seemed to work just fine. You can see here how the blade pops out of the bottom. That's why you don't want your hand there. Thanks for watching the Time to Hunt and How to Make a Quick Draw Knife Case. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. This is going to the winner of my 700 subscriber contest, GSR GoPed Rider 247. There were also two other guys that left tons of comments, but they didn't win. And I felt kind of guilty, guys. So I made, made them each a hatchet case. You, you guys can also watch the video on this. Thanks again, and please subscribe.